What's going on everybody? It's your B, and we're back at you with some something a little bit different that I've done in a couple in a couple weeks. I haven't really done too many videos and right now obviously you can see I'm not at my normal setup. There's reasons for that. I'm trying to reorganize my collection and uh, prioritize some things. But we got this Zobi Pop Culture Box. It says Kaobunga Zoe Box. It's pizza time. And can you guess one of the fandoms in here? We just buy that. We got obviously Ninja Turtles. We got Spawn, one of my favorites. Um, DC vs. Marvel. And Doctor Strange. So, I haven't seen too many people post this. I think I might have seen maybe one person mention it, but I didn't, I don't, I don't think I, no, I didn't see the video. Um, at least not yet, because I didn't want to spoilers. That's what it was. Um, I do remember having, I, I'm just so behind on boxes. I, I have like a stack of boxes I need to open. It's one of those things. I've been so busy with recording, uh, of doing the live streams every Sunday and doing the quizzes and stuff. And this this weekend, it's gonna be one of the big ones. Hopefully, I can release this video in time. But this week, this weekend is one of the big ones. It's um, Latin Heritage Month that we're gonna do. We got Kimal Bear, um, the Dorks, my friend Flaca, uh, Carla, and um, Jenny. That's a really nice packing paper. It's probably the nicest packing paper I've ever seen. Luckily, with the lighting I have here, it, I can't really look inside the box and see what's in there. So it's still kind of a surprise. Um, more on those people. Yeah, Flack is a really amazing. Uh, she does t-shirts and stickers and a whole bunch of... She made me a mason jar and stuff. It's cool. Uh, I'm going to get a t-shirt first. Huh, this... Looks like the t-shirt is spawn. Look at that. Hopefully they got my right size. Let me check that before I show you guys. Yep. You don't need to know what size. But yeah, look at that, man. That's pretty sick. Kind of, you know what? Like the symbiotes are another line I like. So it's kind of funny that it's like that. Because it kind of remembers like a spawn symbiote. That's kind of what it looks like to me. Like a carnage being taken over. By spawn instead of spawn being taken over by carnage you'll see me wearing this in a future video for sure Let's hang that up there next thing that's the pin so it looks like deathstroke and deadpool which is pretty cool actually i don't know what i don't think this is a variant where it says limited to 500 so yeah, that, that, normally I think I think their limits, the their limited runs are more like the variant limited runs are like 120, 100, something like that. Okay, I'm assuming this is a prop. There's a fandom I didn't mention it, or did I mention it? This has got to be this is. Huh. You see me? Don't cringe. I can't. Um, what you want to call it? Actually, well, most of you know if you've been here before, but I can't use the other hand, so it's like something I gotta just tear into stuff. This is heavy. I think we hurt somebody with this. Okay, I doubt this will ever fit my fingers. Yeah, see, look, I got I got big fingers. But it looks like this is the thing from Doctor Strange that would help some like that tool that helps them like channel their their energy. It's actually pretty. Look, this one looks like it, it like if it would open or something. Can I get a closer look at that? Let's see. If you can see that? That's pretty cool. Yeah. This might go like on a giveaway or something. Not because I don't like it. Because honestly, I think Dr. Strange is an interesting character. But. Look at these fingers. <laughs> uh, I don't even know how he holds it. I would have to look at it if he holds it like this then it's not a problem but if they're like supposed to go all the way in yeah it'll, it'll probably go in a giveaway i also have a resident evil thing i probably get to do a giveaway for 
And if this video comes out before the Latin Heritage uh, stream on the 11th of, of uh, October, 6.30 p.m. by the way, uh, we will be doing some giveaways on that night and then the giveaway for the month of October in total if for winning quizzes and getting put on the wheel at a chance at it is the Sam from Trick or Treat NECA figure and the other one I haven't decided because it's always two prizes. I tried to I tried to make it themed uh, for the month, so hopefully you know. I'm assuming this is going to be Ninja Turtles because we got Spawn, Doctor Strange, and it's a print. I'm assuming yeah, it's got to be a print or something like that. Um, Spawn, Doctor Strange, and obviously DC versus Marvel is already there. And it is. Okay, I can put something on top of it. Let me read that first, I guess. It's kind of covering what it is. It says, You're still here? It's over. Go home. You're expecting a teaser for the next Zelda box? Well, we don't have that kind of money. <laughs> I think it's like a play on how like they did it digitally for a while because like during the whole pandemic and stuff, like they were they couldn't get certain supplies. So I think that's kind of a this what are you expecting? A Samuel Jackson autograph to show up? Go go. It's Deadpool. Giving the message basically. But it says uh Galagos. I can't read the uh, oh J J J I can't say his first name. I'm sorry dude. If you watch this i'm very sorry if if you do ever see this just correct me how to say your, your name because my name isn't exactly easy my my government oh well it's like you can kind of like see through it looks like the actor for shredder which is a cool print like this is a cool signature to have honestly normally i don't keep a lot of signatures i might actually keep this this is a real big thing for my childhood look how sick that is although the blue doesn't pop in this light too much. Uh, maybe a white would have done better. Or kind of like a chrome signing or something like that. Kind of like how his or like his um like his armor. So that's pretty cool. So let's see if we got any kind of luck. I got a TikTok song stuck in my head, and I almost started singing it. Let's see, your photo is 8x10 was signed by Fancio Chow. I'm assuming that's the actor. There was a green variant of the t shirt. Huh. I don't think I've ever seen a variant of the t shirt. It's pretty cool. Uh, if you look right there, and there was an, actually another big print you could have gotten. It was, the, it's, see, the lighting in here is terrible, and it's getting late. I hate recording here. I got. I want to get back to my regular setup where there's better lighting. There was a chance at Green Arrow with Hawkeye. It looks like for the pin. That was the limited run for the pin. You can see that. Hopefully, I get some better lighting in here, or so I get to move back to my original space. You could have bought that extra signed Funko Pop. Um, I have that Funko Pop. I have two of that Funko Pop, actually. The Venomized Groot. If three, if you count the glow. Um, I got one in a mystery box. The other one I bought when I first started collecting, which was last year. And then the other one is obviously the glow. It looks like there was a Easter egg randomly inserted bonus item. 8x10 signed by Nick Palma from the Nintendo. That would have been that would have been a cool one. Like they're in the net and stuff. I believe this is when Shredder saves them. And that's like a that's to me that's an iconic scene. Like when Shredder kinda like not Shredder, I'm sorry. Master Splinter. And Master Splinter saves them. Oh boy, I need to get some sleep. <laughs> but hey yeah, man. Thanks for coming. Um, if you're watching this, like I said, tune in to us on Sundays. We are pretty much going live every Sunday. It's me and uh, Andrew. 
uh, uh, Gotham City Collectibles on Instagram. He he joins me pretty much every Sunday at, at 6.30 p.m. Eastern Standard. Um, and we just do trivias on movies, shows, whatever whatever comes up. Sometimes we let the we let the people choose. You know, we have like we'll have one inserted in the quiz. It's pretty fun. You, there's no lag in the games because it's not Kahoot. It's uh, quizzes. So that's probably that's probably one of the better parts of it when people have fun with it because they're not like oh I, you know the only problem we ever have is people try to rejoin in, which is sad. Uh, to try to win and stuff because there's prizes obviously at the end of the month. Um, or you get, um, or people get kicked out or something like that, but for the most part that doesn't happen, so it's been pretty fun, pretty enjoyable. Like I say, we have Geeky Mom Bear, uh, we have McDorks, we have Flackham, uh, we have Jenny, and, uh, and Carla, so we got Honduras, Brazil, uh, Cuba, Dominican Republic, and Puerto Rico being represented. This should be a fun time. Um, and like I say, man, if you have something, wear it. Like, I'm going to wear that Spawn shirt. If this thing, if this replica thing from Dr. Strange would have fit me, or if it fits properly the way it's supposed to with my finger, apparently, I'll wear it in a video. You'll see it around. Like, I've worn scouters. I've worn helmets. It's nothing. Speaking of helmets, I have another helmet. I have not done that video, so tune in for that. It's a helmet. It's a helmet backpack combo. They don't come together, but they're the same theme. So keep out for that. And I might have one of my guests from this Sunday um, joining me for that video. So it should be fun. And if not, well, you know, that's how it goes.